Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Ness. I'm a painter based in New Haven, Connecticut. I've always been interested in figuration and portraiture ever since I was very little, um, but for the past two or three years, I've been really um, focusing in on what I view as unconventional or non-traditional portraits. And what I mean by that is I'm less interested in creating, you know, say the likeness of my father's face in a portrait, but more interested in making a portrait um, by just showing, you know, his shoes that I associate with him or, you know, painting um, architectural spaces or scenarios or menagerie of objects that really tell a lot about the subject without having to show a likeness. And the painting behind me is a painting um, that I'm making of my parents' basement in their um, new house that they moved to in Western Massachusetts. And I'm sure everyone can relate to this experience of packing up um, objects that have really meant something to you um, or really kind of display who you are and then putting them in a box and then, you know, going back to them and maybe they're covered in dust and mold, what have you, but you still have this really emotional weight and, and love for these objects. And that's why I think it's, it's so important to give space and time and uh, of considering those things um, in paintings. Um, I think there's also kind of like that nostalgic level of it too, that I think is really prevalent in, in today's world. I think with COVID, we're all very, you know, uh, we're longing for, for the times where we didn't have to wear a mask everywhere, where we could see our friends and family, where we felt relatively safe from infectious disease. And maybe I'm just a pessimist, but I really think that there's gonna be kind of like a pre-COVID moment of our lives and then everything else is post-COVID. I don't think we're ever gonna get back to where we were. I hope we do, but I don't think we will. <clears throat> And so I think everyone is experienced the, experiencing this kind of collective nostalgia. And I think that's an interesting thing to focus on in painting. Um, for my next body of work, I'm really gonna be focusing in, like I said, about these like menagerie of objects that really tell a lot about a group of people or um, a family or a specific person and um, diving into that more. I'm also interested and um, have plans to make more public spaces paintings. I think I, like everyone else, are yearning for, um, or yearning to get out of just myself and the isolation and the bubble that I've created for myself. And I think painting is an amazing way to kind of escape one's reality in a way or create a new reality for oneself just for a while. Um, whether it be a, a viewer viewing the painting and being transported or the artist herself, you know, um, in a brush or in a brush stroke, creating uh, a new time and place. And I think that's important right now for, for us all. But uh, thank you for listening to me ramble for a little bit. I hope you are all happy, healthy, and safe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.